My name is Rick Labar, and I'm the department chair for the Industrial Technology Department, formerly known as Industrial Arts. Some of the courses we offer in that class or in that department are CAD and Design Technology, which I teach. We also have uh, Wood Technology, which Pat Canelli teaches. We have uh, Metals and Welding, which Matt Billings teaches, and we have Auto Service, which Corey Bars teaches. I think there's a couple things that draw students to our classes. Um, one is it's hands-on, and all those classes I just mentioned were hands-on. Majority of the students' time in class is working on projects. Uh, yeah, the teachers do have to get up in front of the class and demonstrate and lecture, but it's not day in and day out demonstrating and lecturing like a lot of your typical core classes. A lot of times we'll get up there and do it in short segments and the students are working on projects. A lot of students, the other reason students are drawn to our classes is they've been thinking about a career that relates to one of these areas that touches on one of these areas and so they they want to explore that and maybe some students are definitely sure they want to go into one of those careers so uh, that helps obviously draw students in our area. You can go around the state and look at a lot of schools and there's a handful of schools that have what we have to offer. We have new furniture in our lab, it's pretty much a brand new lab within the last four years um, so the students get to learn on new, new equipment, new computers, we do some <laughs> board stuff, they've got new drafting boards, um, new software obviously um, and then again it's the projects that they get to do they design we do competitions we do mites we are totally 100 percent up to speed and up to date we lease our software so we we lease AutoCAD every year so we get the newest version that comes out every year and all the products that fall underneath the Autodesk lease so we have multiple softwares which helps the students get exposed to different software which makes them I hope more employable and better prepares them for college because some colleges are going to use different softwares. Students don't need to be software specific. They just need to know how to use those different tools.